Hello students! In this video, you will learn how to make a comic strip with Storyboard That. First, go to storyboardthat.com and then log in with your Google account. You can make up to six frames or two storyboards per week for free. Now, once you've logged in, click on Create a Storyboard. Now, at the top of this page, you have the Scenes tab, the Characters tab, the Textables tab, etc. In the search bar over here, you can search for objects and other images. Enter a keyword in the search bar, then drag and drop the image into the cell. With a free account, you cannot upload images from your computer, however. Now, each tab has many options. From the Scenes tab over here, you can choose scenes from all these categories like town, home, or school. With a free account, you cannot upload your own backgrounds from your computer. Now, in the Characters tab, you have characters sorted by age and time period. And you also have animals. Now, at the bottom of the page over here, you have the Layout button. If you click on it, you, you can choose the cell layout. You can add a title or a description or both, etc. Here you can add or delete cells. You can add the number of cells that you need. Free accounts are limited to six cells per week. But for now I only need three cells. Here you can move cells, you can copy cells, you can get full screen, and if you make a mistake you can click undo. And finally click save to save your storyboard. But now let's create a storyboard. For example, let's create a storyboard with a scene showing good manners. Let's make three frames and let's think about what the characters will say, what the scene might look like, and other details. So first let's select a scene. Um, let's select a scene from school. You can use these arrows over here to view some more options and let's drag the scene we want into the first cell. Now when you select the scene, the edit panel appears. You can rotate the scene if you want, you can edit the scene, you can copy, you can stretch to fill, you can crop this scene, and you can delete it. Now if you want to keep the same scene, copy and paste it on the other cells. So let's copy and paste. And again, copy and paste. Um, now, uh, you can use filters if you want. For example, you uh, can use all these filters. Now, by default, you have color. You can use grayscale or sepia to show the past, for example. But let's go back to color. You can remove the color or you can draw with a marker, with a pencil or pen, and you can create other effects like canvas bumps, you can diffuse light for a 3D effect, or you can blur to fade the background, and you can use soft focus to create a dreamlike feel. Um, now, click on Edit Scene, and you can choose one of these options here, nighttime, no chairs, you can open the door if you want, or you can change the color of the chairs, wall and floor, all right? For example, in this scene, I want to open the door. So, okay, update scene. Next, let's add the characters. So let's click on the characters tab. Uh, you can choose a character from all these categories, show less, all right, teens, for example. So let's choose our characters. We will drag the character into the cell. So let's choose this one and this one. Now you can adjust the size by dragging the edges, for example, and you can change the size of the characters to create the illusion of depth in your scene. Now, when the character is selected, the edit panel appears and you can rotate this character and you can use these 
layer options over here to move the character forward or backward in your scene. So to give you an example, this is what it looks like, but now we moved it uh, to the front. Okay, now uh, you can create depth with layering and sizing. You can edit your character, you can choose copy, for example, to use the same character in another cell. Okay, you can use the crop tool over here to get a close-up of the character. So let's see what happens when you crop the image. Okay, so now we can move it over here and adjust the size. Okay, okay, now, um, but if you want to crop your image at an angle or a circular formation, let's uh, click crop again. And now you can choose one of these options, standard crop, advanced crop, or circular crop, depending on what you want to do. Um, okay, cancel that. And uh, you can also use filters, all these fil filters over here. And you can you can adjust the hair, skin, eye, and clothing colors. And you can click Edit Pose to adjust facial expressions and body pose. For example, you can tilt the head, you can choose an expression, uh, you can move the arms and legs if you want, and uh, you can choose from the preset poses, for example or mm, this one, but change the facial expression. And you can change the character's direction. And you can change the color of the hair, the skin, etc. And click Update Pose. Now let's do the same with the other character. Uh, so let's change the color of the hair, skin color, Edit Pose. Uh, well, uh, perhaps he should be facing in this direction, and um, let's see, uh, no, this one, um, okay, so update pose, okay, right. Um, in the characters tab, there is also an animal category, so let's have a look at that. I know you're not supposed to bring an animal to school, but just to show you, resize. Now, the animals have a couple of poses to choose from when you click on the image options button over here. So uh, let's choose this one, update the image, okay? But I don't think you would ever see a cat at school, so let's delete that. All right, um, now to make the character speak, click the Textables tab over here. And now you can drag the text bubble into the cell. Again, here you have some options. You have speech, action, shapes, decorative, banners, and you can choose one of these options. But for now, let's click Speech, and uh, we're going to drag and drop the text bubble. So let's use this text bubble over here, and um, okay, and, uh, well, and this one over here. And uh, speech bubbles shouldn't overlap. Okay, so let's uh, resize and move them. Um, now let's click to edit. Uh, inside the text bubble, we can write whatever we like. So let's say that this boy over here says, after you. And the girl says, thank you. So now let's say that we want to copy the characters. So copy and paste, copy and paste, and again, copy and paste and copy and paste. Uh, but let's edit the pose. 
Uh, all right. So let's see. So let's say that this character here says something. So let's put a, a speech bubble over here and let's write, have a nice day. And um, since he's speaking, let's edit the pose. And now he's speaking. Mm -hmm. All right. And now in the next scene, uh, let's say that the girl is speaking. And she is saying... You too. All right. So this is a scene showing good manners. Now, again, you can use all these options here. Okay. You can change the font if you like. You can, you can change the size. And you can explore all these options over here. Keep the text bubble, the color and the font the same in all scenes to create continuity in the story. And then you can add objects to your scene by searching here in the search bar. Let's say that we want to add a flower pot. Let's search for this. It will ask me to upgrade, so I don't have to do that, so I will click no thanks. And here's my flower pot. I can drag and drop it into the scene and I can't, whoops. I can resize, right, and I can place it over here, for example, and then copy. I need to have the same flower pot, pot over here, and then again copy, and again over here. Uh, right, so now uh, when you're done, click the Save button below, okay? So here it says, as a free user, you can create two storyboards per week. Now, uh, write a title here. You can add a description if you want. And now let's click Save Storyboard. So after you save your storyboard, you will find it on the My Storyboards tab and you can continue to edit it later if you want. Uh, over here, you can edit, copy, delete, print, download your storyboard or create a, a slideshow. Okay, now to get the link, click View Details. Now, in the address bar at the top, you will find the link. It ends with the title of your project. Copy and paste this link, copy, and then paste this link on a digital platform or the website where your teacher asked you to submit your project. Now, with this link, viewers can see your full panel storyboard or enter the slideshow mode to see one cell at a time. And also, Let's go back. Uh, over here, if you click Embed, you can copy this code and post it on a digital platform or website, and this will allow viewers to see your storyboard, uh, just like we did before by getting the link. So that's all. Um, now you're ready to create an amazing storyboard. Good luck.